What is electrogravitics? Electrogravitics is the interaction between electricity and gravity and the study of this interaction. This interaction is denied by mainstream science, but there is extremely strong evidence that it exists. In fact, experiments have been done that show that electrical charges have an influence on the force of gravity. Due to the suppression of knowledge of electrogravity by mainstream science, it is impossible to say how much technology has been developed in secret that uses its principles. 1. How does the interaction between electrical charges and gravity work? When matter is negatively charged, electrons flow towards matter that has a positive charge. This current of energy is easy to detect, and it is called electricity. However, the area with a negative charge also is an area where gravitational forces are diverging. This leads to weaker gravitational forces affecting the negatively charged matter than the surrounding matter. The positively charged matter is an area where gravitational energy is converging. This makes the gravitational forces exerted on this matter stronger than the surrounding matter. Therefore, in addition to the electrical circuit that is created by negative and positive charges, there is also a circuit of gravitational energy. This circuit is difficult to see, as it is far weaker than the electrical circuit. However, it has been detected. 2. What experiments have been done with electrogravitics? There have been far more experiments done in the field than most people are aware of, and they have been conducted for quite some time. Electrogravitics was first discovered by Thomas Townsend Brown. He conducted an experiment that demonstrated that the gravitational forces are weaker on negatively charged matter. The name of the principle that he discovered is referred to as the Beefield-Brown principle. While this principle has been discounted by mainstream science, there have been many experiments done on electrogravitics. Many experiments have likely been conduced in secret, but the aviation industry is known to have performed numerous experiments aimed at developing electrogravitics into aeronautical technology. 3. What could electrogravitics be used for? Electrogravitics could be used to allow aircraft to take off without the use of lift. This would mean that aircraft could be of any shape imaginable. There would no longer be a need for wings. In addition, the weightlessness that could be caused by electrogravitics would be capable of allowing an aircraft to accelerate and decelerate far faster than any known technology today. In fact, the aircraft would be able to reach many thousands of miles per hour in the blink of an eye. Essentially, mankind would be able to fully take control of one of the strongest forces in the universe and manipulate it at will. In addition, it is possible that electrogravitics could be used as a powerful energy source for the generation of electricity. 4. Is electrogravitics being utilized today? It likely is. The government has conducted a large amount of research on the subject, and there are likely at least a few military uses of electrogravitics today. In fact, it appears that the B-2 stealth bomber may have the capability to be powered using electrogravitics-based technology. However, the military denies this claim. Additionally, many researchers believe that the government may have reversed-engineered UFO technology that utilizes electrogravitics. This may be the explanation for the Big Black Delta UFOs that have been spotted. They appear to make no sound, which would be impossible without the use of anti-gravity technology, such as the use of electrogravitics. One example of such a UFO encounter occurred in the Rendlesham Forest of England. It appeared that there were man-made markings on the side of the craft. This could indicate that it was not of alien origin and was actually secret government technology. 5. How could electrogravitics be incorporated into human technology? It is thought that UFOs may use electrodes embedded within the hull of the craft in order to weaken the force of gravity. These electrodes would cause the hull to have a strong negative electrical charge, allowing the craft to become effectively weightless. In addition, the specific location on the hull with the strongest negative charges could be manipulated to steer the craft. It is likely that the powerful charge to run the electrogravitic equipment on UFOs may be created by antimatter. This technology could be utilized one day in man-made aircraft, assuming it isn't being utilized already in secret. In addition, it is possible that electrogravitics could be used in construction or any field that requires the movement of heavy objects. Possibly, a sheath of some kind with embedded electrodes could be placed on the object, and the materials could be moved around with the use of some type of remote control. The possibilities of what could be done with electrogravitics are endless, and it would likely be put to numerous uses. Do you think that electrogravitics is a viable science? If so what promises do you see in its possible applications? 
please leave your response in the comment area below. If you liked this video please give it a thumbs up. Also, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.